Hello everyone, I'm Nighthawk64, presenting another episode of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice by Ninja Theory. This will be episode 2 of my playthrough series. I started playing this game last week. I played a couple hours. I don't really know how to explain this game very well. It's a very interactive experience, more than a, you know, a game where you're trying to upgrade your character or like get XP or open world. It's kind of just like an interactive cinematic experience in a sense that there is no game UI or anything. There's no hints. There's no like any die or any text except on when they're like showing you the subtitles or showing you like ruins that you interact with. But even then those just speak to you. This game is very unique in a way that it's very immersive, especially the way the kind of the voices talk to you. Um, I wish I kind of knew how to explain the story, but I mean, so far it seems that Senua is trying to go to Helheim to kind of bargain for a soul of, of someone she knows or someone she, that's close to her or someone she loves or something like that. Um, it's kind of hard to really explain the story um, given kind of the how the game is set up with the voices and the narration, I probably won't be adding much commentary during the gameplay. Um, I think it'll just be where I just share my thoughts before I play and then after when I save or end the episode. And that's kind of where I'll be sharing my thoughts. So, um, obviously viewer discretion is advised. This is a very emotionally intense game. Um, please look at the ratings. Um, please read about this game before you watch me play it because it can be very intense for some people. Um, just be mindful of that. But if you're watching on Twitch, welcome. Watch on YouTube, welcome. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. I don't really know where this game is going to go, but I'm curious to see. Um, but other than that, I'm going to turn the volume back up. I'll switch to gameplay. So I probably won't be adding much commentary, but please, I will tr I'll try to save my thoughts for the end if uh, I have any additional thoughts to provide. It should just pick up right where we left off in the previous episode, hopefully. Yep. Okay, so the last episode we went through this doorway and we took out this, like, guy so we can open the gate to Helheim, I suppose. Um, it's right over here. So I guess we're supposed to go through the next door and defeat the next person? I, I don't know. I don't know. answered. He comes from a land older than mankind, and the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua, and spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Senua, we each walk these lands gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. 
Remember your training. human flesh <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind do you hear them too Senos? yes I heard their screams and I still hear them now to Helheim is sealed to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it.
Sort. Know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspel and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. I die? Oh, okay, so I was going the right way though. Dang. Look at it. 
The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. Hmm. of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Oh my gosh, we're burning. <laughs> that whole screech in that part was so scary. Uh. Why did it show that part to me? Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! 
Find your own path, like I find mine. My gods abandoned me. I am alone. Is that a live-action actor? It's gotta be. He looks too real. He's gotta be a live-action actor. It's like... That's like overlaid. Oh my gosh, another one? Is there a bunch of burned houses? The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. Well, I played a God of War, I know what happens. Oh, what's up here? The Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Bad things. Like you, Sinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. All right. She stopped. 
Oh no. to shed your tears. Raise your world to the prime! My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world anew. No, I see nothing now. This must be for something. Not for right now. There's a door right here, okay, okay. Tell me true. How did you escape your darkness? Once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it. Clearly in others. Even my captors fear the fire of certain. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. Where would this be? Oh, 
Oh, is this clinging to something? It's gotta be right here, because it, like, goes to the middle. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will go 
come back to you. I promise. So it goes until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free, knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye, as I have, to find your answers, your quest. Truth was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids, drove him to madness. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world.
Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. If his tales of hell were true, then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him, until she too could see what he saw. Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. Senua has died before, and she will do so again. I gotta say, the sound design on this game is insanely good. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It feels like the sound design, when they're talking and you hear all the environment stuff, like, that is the UI. Because it's just, like, the lack of UI, they put so much more into the... Um, like, the audio experience. The mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt. You may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Why is she waiting? Open she the gate. To open no, the gate. Don't. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. 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 She's standing. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. 
And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. to surrender, abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Ooh, nice, so you can just push the button of the controller and it takes a screenshot. Good job, Valve. Oh. 
Oh. Alright, big dog. Did I get him?
The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. That's cool. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd and is challenged by the giantess. that one Oh, Senua. Your father does not hate me. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him.
Capella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gits. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Warrior, you're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just do like it. your soul. Come on. There. Why 
go on when you give everything and face that which torments you only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined why go on is it really so weak to ask this or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world, like this one, barren and lonely.
Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance, wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. She could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. What's your name? Senua. I haven't Senua. seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her 
her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! For only being 720p, this game looks incredible. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels 
feels wrong. Wait. Where wait, are we what? now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. Oh, that's right there. But when it comes, True it forces so itself there. onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword of Tyrving. Must be it. Uh. Don't go in there. Go in. You the have torch. to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. Take, Take it. it. This will help you. Careful. You have to be able to see. <gasps> Who's there? Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials, like when we first met, remember? Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. 
It looks like the same. I can hear him. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> Listen, Dillian. Listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting loud. There he is. Keep going. Send him to follow the voice. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. Wait, what? Sure. So this is where I just came from. It's not Dillian. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Chief, that's a... No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. 
No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Okay, I think this is where I'm gonna save. Um, it's been about an hour 35. I want to keep these episodes kind of shorter because I know this is kind of a shorter game. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep them evenly spaced. I think the last episode was about this length too. Yeah, about an hour 40 minutes. So to give, I guess I have a better understanding of what's kind of happening. So we were trying to go to Helheim to get the soul of this person that she cares for back, almost. And so we had to defeat the two gods to unlock the gateway. So we went in. She was making her way across the bridge. We ran into Hela, who's like the guard, like the, I don't know, the, the guardian of the underworld. And obviously she lost and got thrown off the bridge. And her sword got shattered. So we found this sword that apparently Odin placed in this tree so someone that's worthy can like take it out and use it and it's like can kill gods or something like that. So I guess we have to pass all these warrior trials to get the sword to obviously kill Hela and then go into Helheim. So we just completed the first one about conquering your fears. I think she conquered her fears about her leaving her father or abusive father. It sounded like he was kind of abusive in that little excerpt, the little cutscene, but I don't really know. Um, but I'm okay, I'm excited to play more. I just feel like I should just I should pause right here. Um, this is a very intense game, emotionally and kind of with the audio and the visuals and stuff like that. Um, it's not for the faint of heart, so I'm I'm trying not to do it all in one. I'm not trying to do it in too long of lengths, but um, I'm, ex I'm I'm I I like it so far. It's just very intense, very intense. Some of the cutscenes and some of the action scenes can be very intense, but I am curious to play more. I'm I want to play more to see where the story goes and where uh, Senua's journey leads to, but. If you're watching on Twitch, thanks for watching. Watch on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Hopefully, be back next week with more Senoa. Um, I do want to play more, so be back hopefully next week with more Senoa. But other than that, thanks for watching. See you next time.